The good people of Anocha and Jikok Kazumi Kok Africa Constituency for Manabra State. The House acknowledged that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. And the House recalled that spirited efforts have been made by the security agencies in the southeast to contain the lingering insecurity in the zone, but the trend has defied these efforts and made rather escalated in parts, most parts of the zone, especially as the political activities leading to the 2023 general election increases. The House is mindful of His Excellency, our Governor, Professor Chuku Masoludo, Governor of Anambra State, giant strides in, the, in this area, <laughs> an ability to reduce the activities of the unknown government in Anambra State since assuming office through diplomatic means and other intervention strategies using part of the lean resources of our states. The House notes that the recent, recently concluded party primaries further exposed the polity to the activities of the miscreants who terrorize the region, striking at will and retreating on challenge. The House believes that with the heightened social, economic and political activities across the nation, Commensurate measures required to be put in place to require to keep the polity conducive enough for the citizens to actively participate in all these activities, particularly in the zone, without molestation or fears. The House is then worried that with the illicit crave for political power, poor responses from the security agencies to emergencies has become more manifest owing to their numerous challenges. This cut across the nation, the Southeast, but more particularly in Anambra State, looking back at not to the same period. It has alarmed that these challenges swelling from lack of sufficient equipment to corruption in the system, lack of strategic deployment, sabotage and betrayal are worsening the integrity and efficiency of the security agencies in the face of increased space of banditry, kidnapping, terrorism, courtism, ritual killings, and worse of all, political killings. There has then been stopped that between June 2020 and April 2022, about 8,455 people's lives have been wasted in the zone under reference on account of insecurity and requires to enable in the vote. The House is mindful of the fact that with the heightened tempo of socio-economic and political activities, the policy must be kept safe and conducive for the citizens to freely participate in the electoral and other activities to achieve the long-term results of stable policy. The House resolved to urge the federal government to urgently set in motion the processes of disarming the different unlicensed persons carrying guns in the southeast and other parts of the country with the aim of enthroning a safe environment and policy towards the 2023 general election and thereafter, and urge the federal government to address the some of the prominent underlying factors respecting unrest and violence in the southeast. Urge the heads of security agencies to work towards security of lives and property by embracing early warning and early response mechanisms to collaborate with local security agencies in sharing of intelligence information. The House urged the federal government to urgently intervene in the rescue mission of Anambra State by extending financial support, Mr. Speaker, and other strategic logistics to, to adequately contain the wave of insecurity in the state. Finally, mandate the House of Committee on Information and Communication Technology to liaise with the Ministry of Information and Culture and National Rotation Agency to embark on public awareness campaign and sensitization exercise and report back to this House within three weeks. I so move. Mr. Rice, to support the motion as heavily moved by my honorable colleagues. Thank you. I so second. Those in support, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Ayes have it.